Willie Jennings has a really beautiful statement about this passage. He says, God works in and from tight spaces, intimate settings of family and close friends to change wide open spaces of people and nations. Uh, when I read that, I thought that that should especially speak to us right now in our current situation where our spaces have grown increasingly tight, uh, where we are sharing space almost exclusively with uh, the, the family or friends who occupy our living space. And while we might be tempted to see this as a time of, uh, of pause or of a liminal space of waiting for the normal to return, this might very well be a space uh, where the Spirit of God moves and works in these tight spaces to open up spaces of people and nations. I thought as we got into this text that it was interesting that Peter, or that Cornelius rather, mistook the messenger Peter for the message. Uh, and as I read Peter's words, I thought that these were words that should be internalized by anyone who, who uh, carries on the mission and the message of the gospel. Uh, Peter says to Cornelius after Cornelius falls in worship at his feet, Stand up, I am only a mortal. Uh, it reminds me of the, uh, the hubris that we've seen in recent days of pastors around the country who insist on gathering people in large crowds for worship uh, as if they feed on the energy of those crowds for their ministry's worthiness. Uh, stand up, for I am only a mortal. God moves in tight spaces. Well, the other word about this passage that I want to be sure we treat this morning is the way that uh, Christians have typically read throughout history the book of Acts and passages like this in particular in supersessionist ways, as if the movement of God through the Jesus movement is superseding or taking the place of the movement of Israel in the past an opening up of the message of God's love and good news to a wider world. Uh, but that is not the reading of this text uh, that, we should, uh, that we should take this morning as gospel. The good news of this text is that something new is happening from within the old tradition. Uh, that the uh, Gentiles are not now taking over the message of God's love for the nations, but the Gentiles are being invited in to an ancient story of good news. Uh, that the Spirit is falling on uh, Jews and Gentiles, but this is not a spirit of something taking the place of something old. It's the story of, uh, of something old doing a new thing. A new thing, though, that was contained in, in, the, in a form of a kernel throughout the words of the prophets of the Hebrew Bible, uh, throughout the words of Jesus, who was a good representative of the faith of Israel, uh, even in Peter, who was a good follower of those ancient ways, and now also in Cornelius, who interestingly, as a Roman, as a centurion, as a Gentile, is following those old ways of Israel, those ancient uh, practices of faithfulness and prayer and giving, when the Spirit falls upon him. So not a supersessionist reading at all, but uh, a, a, a good word being spoken out of an ancient tradition of faith. And Peter's words this day when he gathers with Cornelius in the house that he's been summoned to, uh, even though he had to ask, now may I ask why you sent for me? Uh, Peter begins preaching and he says, truly, I now understand that God shows no partiality. And while Peter is still speaking, the Holy Spirit falls on all who heard the word. Uh, and the words, there is now no thing profane or unclean. And then can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? The Spirit fell on this unlawful, presumably quite unorthodox gathering, and then they fellowshiped together for several days.